Alright, what's going on guys? It's Valrico here and today we're just going to be having some regular old school commentary of Battlefield 1. I, uh, I wanted to make a commentary about this map in particular because I really enjoyed this map. I played it about three or four times today. Um, and I wasn't even in a, a lobby to where, you know, it would just be Neville Knights over and over and over again. Which is the name of this map. I think it's how you pronounce it. Neville Knights, Neville Knights, whatever. This map is biblical. One reason is the graphics are ridiculous. Ridiculous on this map. Especially when you're playing on PC. At the highest possible settings. It looks ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And another thing I like about this map. Is the fact that it's really wide open. Now normally on a Battlefield game. If a map is wide open. It makes for a terrible map. Uh, they, the map isn't flat though, so yeah, if it was a flat map, it would be pretty trash. But it, there's up and down hills, there's broken down buildings, and there's a lot of line of sight, you know, lines of sight where you can see people. And you know, as I'm doing right here, going in the prone position with a light machine gun is deadly, deadly on this map if you can get into the right spot. And right here, I backed down a little bit because somebody was stalking me, trying to throw a grenade. And it was this guy right here creeping up on me. He missed me. He walks past me. I'm like, how is this guy not dead? I was shocked at how long I took to kill him. I'm like, dude, am I just gonna, am I gonna get killed right here? I was on like, what was it? What does it say? 4% health, 9% health. I'm like, really? We're taking that long to kill people? All right. 60 hertz lobby, and we're taking that long to kill people? All right, bro. All right. But the map is gorgeous. It's one of the new free maps I guess that's, uh, that, that they gave out for Battlefield players uh, I think premium people get it first I don't know if it's out now for everybody but it should be it's been out for a while you know it came out during the transition in which I was switching to PC so I didn't even want to play Battlefield at all I didn't want to play anything because I knew my PC was on the way so the only thing I did want to play is PlayStation exclusives because I had no other choice you know you have no other choice playing those games um, unless you have the console so I played Horizon or whatever and that's pretty much it I didn't want to play anything else because of the fact that I knew the PC was coming and I just wanted to feel, uh, experience the full magnitude of the game and that's why I didn't play any of these new maps or make any videos about Battlefield in a long time because of that but now we're back in the action we're back on the field uh, and I'm enjoying this game. I enjoy this game a whole lot more than Counter-Strike, to be honest. I played Counter-Strike, and it's cool. It's fun and all. Back and forth action, you know. Uh, you know fucking planting the bomb and another guy. You know, it's just, it's just the same shit. Different maps. And it honestly, it ain't fucking with Battlefield. Fuck out of here, dog. Battlefield, even Call of Duty. Uh, let's just be honest. Counter-Strike's cool. Cool and all. It's not a bad game. But there's no variety to it, and it's just an arena shooter. And when you play just arena shooters, after a while, you get tuckered out with it. So I popped in the Battlefield and really started playing it shit, this shit for about the last two days. I, I either play Battlefield 1, or I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto, and then doing Let's Plays in between. I've, you know, another thing that's fun is going on Grand Theft Auto and just racing. Just racing people is really, really fun. Pop in the controller. Bam, we're out here racing motherfuckers. And a lot of people use mouse and keyboard on on the Grand Theft Auto to race. And I'm like, bruh, how do you even do that, though? How do you even compete, though? That's just disgusting. But the map is has great map flow, lots of flags. One other thing I'll say about this map real quick is if you have a trash team, you will get pummeled. Like no other on this map. I there's maps where you get pummeled on, but it's not too bad. On this map and Fort DeVoe, for in particular, those maps on Battlefield One you'll get pummeled on. And this is probably the worst map because it's oh it's wide open, so you know you'll see a, a squad of 15 players running in between flags, and there's nothing you can do about it. Once you see 15 dudes coming over the hill, especially on PC. Or motherfuckers aim is on point you're gonna get fucking mowed down so just turn around and run away I've done this a couple times on console I will challenge motherfuckers all day 15 people please 
fuck out of here. 15 people. You see 15 people on PC where everybody's playing with the uh, mouse and keyboard? You see those motherfuckers coming over the hill? Haul ass. Abandoned ship. That's one thing I've learned. If, there's, if you're outnumbered 15 to 1 on this game, <laughs> just run away, bro, because you're going to get fucked up. Bad. Look at this tank sliding into the action. I'm trying to... I'm like, what the... Can I... Mantle... Let, let me... Uh, let me get through. What are you doing? Sliding all up in the way. I, mean, I think he got stuck in the trench and he had to abandon the ship later on in the video. I think I ended that out, but... He uh, actually had to abandon the ship out of that tank because this fucking idiot drove into the, the trench. Like a dope. And he can't really get out of the trench if you drive in like that. Now, I can't remember, but I think there's supposed to be another map coming out. Another free map before the DLC during the summer. I cannot remember exactly what it was. That was a great tactic right there. Throwing the grenade and then realizing with Battlefield 1 veteran tactics that either he's going to run left, which isn't, uh, you know, he was already pointing my direction. Most of the time when they're pointing your direction, they're just going to run straight and jump over the grenade. I got a little hit mark on the grenade and I realized that he was probably going to be a right and he dropped down the trench and cut him down. Um... But there's supposed to be a new map coming out. I don't really remember what it was called at all. I don't remember what it was called. But it looks pretty cool. But uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to talk about this map in general. My thoughts on it. I think it's a good map. It's a really good map. I like it. I enjoy it. I like it a whole lot better than some of the uh, regular maps, to be honest. Like This this map has to beat Suez Canal. I mean, come on. Suez is fucking garbage. Even with the update... Where they added more flags. This honestly, Suez is trash. Let's be honest. It's a spawn trap. Fucking haven. I cannot stand that map when I get it. it. Makes me sick. But, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. The subscribe button. Gab that AI slash Valrico. I'm going to let the video play out. Uh, and you can, you know, absorb these graphics. YouTube.com slash Valrico. And I'm out of this bitch. Peace. Panzergesichtet!